subscribe to my channel making impossible and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any one of my upcoming videos yo what's up friends i'm shulazari and welcome back to making impossible the channel that teaches you how to make the impossible and be the smartest person in the room today is monday which means you're right now watching this Mag that monday episode of making impossible and in today's episode i'm going to be teaching you an amazing card trick in which you're going to predict three cards at once or you're just going to read three minds at once both of these things are same for this card trick and it's very easy to do because you don't need sleight of hand for doing this card trick all you need is a deck of cards and even you're not going to touch the deck of cards your audience does the entire thing and you are going to take the credit and that is the most beautiful thing of this card trick is and i'm going to teach you this thing and since this is the monday episode one of you are going to get a lucky instagram shout out today in my channel and let's see who gets that but before all of this let's roll our intro first This week's Instagram shoutout goes to Thansi Jamal. Follow him on Instagram. Link is given in the video description. I'll feature one lucky Instagram user every Monday in my Smack That Monday episodes. If you want your Instagram profile or page to be featured in my next Smack That Monday episode, follow the simple steps that are given in the video description. So now, let's continue. Okay guys, so before even explaining the card trick, first I'm going to show you a performance of it. And for this card trick, what you need to do is... You need to have a deck of cards that's too much obvious and you need to have a marker or a pen and a piece of paper. You need all of this. So right now at first I'm going to hand this deck of cards over to my spectator for him or her to shuffle. Okay? So the spectator can shuffle as many times as they want to because it really doesn't matter how many times they shuffle or what is the order of the card at the last position. And you don't even need to touch the deck of cards, okay? So your spectator keeps on shuffling just like this. And after that, you can ask your spectator just to spread this deck of cards face up, right? Just like this, very clean. Now what you're going to do is, you're just going to ask them to turn this deck of cards face down like this. And then what you are going to do is, you're going to take this piece of paper and you're going to write down your prediction and I'm actually going to write down my prediction on this and I'm not going to show you what I'm writing so at first I'm going to write down the first card that is this one I think so yeah the second card I think that it would be the okay perfect and the last card would be also uh, close to the second card okay so I wrote down the name of three cards here and I'm just going to fold this paper just like this so that you can't see what is written in it and I'm actually going to clip it onto the marker that I have and now let's do the trick so I have three cards written over there and I'm going to ask my spectator the spectator this deck is actually in the spectator's hand and I'm going to ask him or her to actually deal down as many cards as they want so they keep on dealing until and unless they feel like stopping so suppose say they want to stop over here or over here or maybe a little bit more deeper just like this so this is the point that they stopped right now i'm going to ask them to divide this card into three piles by placing one card at a time just like this so right now they are going to do like this and they will stop when the card is over when the number of cards they have has become zero so like this they are going to just take one card at a time and they are going to make into a three piles just like this now we are going to just move the top three cards out okay and we have the rest of the cards here which are this one and let's see the cards that they have actually randomly selected so the first one is this the second one and the third one okay now let me show you my prediction i have written the name of the first card to be the nine of hearts the three of clubs and the two of clubs 
So as you can see, the nine of hearts, the three of clubs, and the two of clubs. The nine of hearts, the three of clubs, and the two of clubs. So that's how this card trick actually looks like. And it's very easy and very simple because it doesn't require any sleight of hand. And you can do this with any deck of cards. And you're, you don't even need to touch the deck of cards the entire time. And so that's how the card trick looks like. Let's move on to the tutorial of this card trick, okay? Okay guys, this is how the card trick is done. Now, first of all, for this card trick, you obviously need a deck of cards and you need a marker and a piece of paper if you're going to do this as a, if you're going to perform this as a prediction card trick or if you're just going to perform this as a mentalism card trick, then you don't need this. And I'm going to explain to you the mentalism part at the end of the tutorial of this prediction part because both of these are pretty much same. So you have this deck of cards, you ask uh, your spectator to take this deck of cards and just check this deck of cards if these cards are absolutely normal and if there are any duplicate cards. So they do each and everything that you ask them to do and then you ask them to shuffle this deck of cards and they keep on shuffling until and unless they are happy. So they can shuffle as many times as they want, it doesn't really matter. So let's say they have completed the shuffle and you're going to ask them to spread the deck of cards faced up just like this. And this is the point where you are actually going to know what card they are going to choose. What are the three cards that they are, that is going to appear at the last moment. So the three cards that, uh, that are going to appear at the last moment is the top three cards, which means this one. The seven of hearts, the four of clubs and the queen of hearts. So as your spectator spreads this deck of cards very cleanly, you can actually see these top three cards and you're just going to write this the the name of these three cards on this piece of paper so when i was actually writing the name of the cards on this piece of paper i was actually writing the name of the top three cards on this piece of paper and i was actually doing this by tilting my hand away because this is a prediction trick so you're not going to show to your audience what you are writing so right now let me write the name of the first three cards that is the uh the first card is the seven of hearts right the second card is the uh, four of clubs the third card is the queen of hearts right so you're going to write all of these three things just like that and then what you're going to do is you're just going to fold it up so that your spectators can't see what you have written because this is a prediction trick so after you have done all of this I just wasted a lot of time but after you have done a lot of uh, all of this this is the trick that is going to happen so you're going after this after writing all of this your spectator can't shuffle the deck of cards that that is the one thing that you have to keep in mind that your spectator can't shuffle the deck of cards after they have shown the cards faced up to you because that is the time when you have actually written down the predictions on this piece of paper and if they shuffle again then the position of these three cards will change so you have to keep in mind that they don't shuffle this deck of cards again and then for that reason you're just going to ask them to take this deck of cards face down in their hand just like this and start dealing down cards and tell them to deal almost like 10 or 15 cards at first and then keep on dealing so that there are enough cards over here okay and this is very uh, necessary, very much necessary because if the spectator wants to stop at the first or the second card, then this trick won't be happening. So you need to have them deal these cards and if they deal a lot of cards over here, this is the perfect thing that would happen because this is, uh, this is going to actually play a big game in their mind that they are doing this at a very random manner. So if there are a lot of cards here, then this is going to happen. So for that reason, you're just going to ask them to uh, deal out first 10 or 15 cards and then keep on dealing until and unless they want to stop. So they keep on dealing and suppose they stop over here. So right now, the cards that uh, we have uh, seen at the top of the deck is right now at the bottom of the deck. The seven of hearts, the four of clubs and the queen of hearts. So these are right now at the bottom of the deck. Now this is a pretty much self-working trick because uh, if I keep on dealing the cards just like this, just like this, if I keep on dealing the cards, then 
the last three cards would be those three cards that were actually on the top so right now there there are two cards over here and this is the last card that i kept over here so this card is already the queen of hearts which is going on the top of this pack this card is already the four of clubs which is already going on the top of this pack sorry uh this pack because the next card is over here and this is the other card which is actually going on the top of the center of the pack or top of the center pack sorry and this is this is how this card trick actually happens so you can see that this is a pretty self-working card trick because those three cards have actually gone to the bottom of the pack of cards that they dealt and for that reason if they are actually keeping each and every card single and then they are making up three piles then this card will be landing on these three cards will be landing on top of each and every pile right so that is when you are actually going to uh, turn these cards over because these cards will be face down just like this you're just going to turn them over and then you're just going to reveal your prediction that the seven of hearts that is this one the four of clubs that is this one and the queen of hearts that is this one so you're going to reveal that your prediction has actually matched this trick now this is how the prediction trick is actually done but if you want to do this as a mentalism card trick then you're not going to write these cards down instead you're just going to remember the top three cards that are present in the deck the top three cards and then after the entire uh, separation has been done and after the entire process that means uh, till the last process in which they have dealt out three piles at that point of time since you know that these cards will be on the top of the deck you are just going to ask your spectator to see at all of these three cards and then you're just going to uh, look at their eyes and just going to say these names out the seven of hearts the four of clubs and the queen of hearts and your spectators will be amazed because you're just going to look at their eyes and you're just going to read the name of the cards that were present at the top of the deck and which you actually saw when they spread the deck faced up so that is how this card trick actually works and the key to this card trick is always the top three cards whatever they are so if the card trick is actually done again like this the next time the card in this card trick the three cards that will come up is these three cards the queen of clubs the nine of diamonds the ten of diamonds and that's how it's actually done and that's it for today's video so i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure you hit the thumbs up button if you did so and don't forget to follow me on instagram actual underscore zari also if you have any questions use the comment section for that and also make sure you subscribe to my new channel that is my vlog channel i'll leave a link in the description box as well as in the cards and don't forget to smash the subscribe button of this channel if you're not a subscriber yet and turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss my upcoming videos and my future smack that monday episodes peace